Cameron Police Department received a report of an attempted child abduction yesterday, September 6, between 8 and 8.30 p.m. at a recreation park here in the city limits of Cameron. It was reported that an older male was observed with a small boy within the park. The boy referred to the adult male as Grandpa. The boy was observed speaking with Grandpa and then was observed going within the park speaking to an approximately five-year-old female child. The little boy was um, going back and forth to his grandpa, stating that grandpa wanted to speak to the child. Grandpa had a surprise for um, the child within the car. Once the little girl did not go over to the car, the adult male appeared to be frustrated and left the recreation park. The adult male was left seeing the park in a newer style, silver old Oldsmobile or Buick LeSabre with a temp tag that was displayed in the back window. The male was described as an older male with gray hair, approximately 6 foot and 300 pounds, last seen wearing a red or orange t-shirt and blue jeans. The boy was approximately 4 to 5 years in age, referred to the adult male as grandpa, described as skinny, last seen wearing a hunter green shirt with a design on the front, green shorts or camo shorts. The information that we received came in through a social media network um, through our Facebook page on the Cameron Police Department Facebook page. Um, we are still currently investigating this. Our officers are um, looking to see if we can locate a vehicle matching that description, as well as the adult male and the small child. Have police been able to speak to the actual parent that reported this, or just through Facebook? I'm sorry? Have police been able to speak to the parent that reported this, or just through Facebook? We have. Um, we sent a message on Facebook reaching out to the parent who put that on the social media page, and we were able to contact her. She contacted us at the police department. And did she say, did she overhear the conversation between her daughter and this boy? Yes, she did. And Why didn't she call you right away? Um, I think it was um, more of she wasn't sure what to do at the time. Um, she knew that she needed to get the, the word out, and I, I guess in her eyes she felt that... Um, that the media was a, a, is a fast way to get the word across, and it, and it did work. We were able to get the investigation started through that, that social media. And she saw this, this kid who was with the grandpa go and talk to other kids too? Yes, she did. Did she overhear? Oh, not, not, excuse me, not to other kids, not just, just to, her, to her child, yes. Is there any worry that this kid that was going around with this older man, is that child in any sort of danger, do you believe? or? We, we don't know at this time. It has not been reported that this child is in danger. Um, he did not appear to be in danger according to the, the individuals at the park at the time. And has a police report actually been filed on this then? Yes, it has. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a very scary thing, I'm sure, for parents because parents are, you know, you tell your kids not to talk to adult strangers, but sure. this is just kind of a creepy tactic if this is truly the case of what happened. Um, talk about that a little bit. Um, you know, the Cameron Police Department works closely with our um, children and our school district within our area. Um, we do have a school resource officer who um, teaches stranger danger on a regular basis to our community. Um, but we would also like to take the time just to remind parents that we do need to teach our children about dangers like this. Not only um, adult stranger danger, but as well as child stranger danger. Because I'm sure a lot of the danger in that is that you think that a, a person who's going to abduct a child looks a certain way or acts a certain way. Sure. Is it possible that this is a misunderstanding, that maybe this child was just trying to play with the little girl? And, I mean, where are you on the, on the whole scheme of likely that this was an abduction versus this has all been a mistake? The way it was reported, we are going to investigate it as a child abduction, or a possible child abduction. Um, any time that we receive a report like that, we have to investigate it to the fullest just to make sure that it is or is not what it's reported to be. But it's also possible that this was some kind of a misunderstanding, or do you just not believe that at all? It very well could be. Um, but speaking with the, the mother and the child, um, it appears that it possibly could have been a, a possible child abduction. Did she put it on your Facebook page or someone else's Facebook page, and how did that, that happen? Do you know? I do not know that information. I will get that back to you. Okay. Does Is the description it, of a man fail any registered child sex offenders in the area? We do not believe so. And the child, the two children were about the same age? It appears, yes. And 
the, the little girl did not have any idea who this little boy was. So these are all strangers to town, it appears. Yes. I think you know about that story, because that's what seems to really grab your attention, is that the boy claimed there was a prize in the car for the girl. Right. It was reported to us that the little boy um, was speaking to who he referred to as Grandpa. Um, he would go and talk to Grandpa. Grandpa would tell him something. And the little boy would go back and talk to um, the five-year-old girl. Um, he said, at one point, he said, Grandpa has a surprise for you in his car. He wants you to come back to his car. Um, it was at that point that the little girl went and spoke to her mom, and they left the area then. Is this a tactic that this police department has ever heard of or been familiar with? I do not have that information at this time. I'll have to get back with you. How creepy is that, Erin, that, you know, we've heard of the puppy routine or the candy routine, but to use another child to possibly entice another child? It's definitely a scary thing. Um, you know, once again, we need to make sure that we inform our children that this is out there, that it is happening now, and, and um, give them the information and the tools that they need to keep themselves safe. And what exactly should parents be doing with, it, with, with this sort of thing out there? Um, you know, every parent has their own way of keeping their child safe, but you just need to talk to your child and set up, you know, whether it's a safety word, whether it's a safety plan, whether it's a safe spot to go to. Um, you just need to speak to your child and make them aware of what to do in this situation. Have you Does it bother you that this parent didn't call? The, I mean, if somebody is saying those kinds of things and doing those kinds of things, I would think that it would be the most natural thing on earth to pick up your cell phone right there and call 911. I mean, that that I, that is sort of a a trigger to me that something is amiss. Sure. Does that bother you? You know, I can't speak on behalf of the mother. I wasn't there during the situation. Um, but we are glad that we were able to speak to her. We were able to get the word out to others in the um, in the community and the surrounding communities as well. Who gave the description of the um, of the accused person? Is it the uh, child or the mother? It was a combination of the child and the mother. So she also saw him. Yeah. Sure. Her yes. Have you had, have you had any reports since? You put this information out. Has anybody called in anything of any nature regarding seeing the vehicle or the man or the child? No, we have not. I have to believe, Erin, that while we're prime interest is finding this man, that we want to find the child as well. Sure, sure. And like, like you had asked earlier, we do want to make sure that the child is safe, um, the child's not in any danger. Um, it did not appear, though, that the child was in any danger at that time.